I for sure asked myself if we had made a mistake sailing up here. The anchorages here are just horrific. We've been struggling quite a lot. If you've been watching the videos, you know. But right now, I'm actually super happy that we're still not down by Fiji since that storm is headed their way and How is the weather? <laughs> the weather uh, is looking very interesting. I am really glad that we decided to sail up to the Marquesas. Um, there are actually two low pressure systems kind of approaching Tahiti from the west. And one of them has been named Tropical Cyclone Net. And so this is exactly what we we're worried about with it being an El Nino year. And uh, normally, you know, the French Polynesia is incredibly cyclone safe. It's very rare. And now there's two big lows headed towards Polynesia. So, Ooh, that looks gnarly. Yeah. So the current conditions, 80 kilometer an hour winds sustained and gusts up to 105 kilometers an hour. Luckily, we are all the way up here. And so we are so far north that uh, the tropical cyclones don't really make it up to the Marquesas. And so we're getting a little bit later into the season. The ocean has been heating up and uh, now all that energy is kind of being released. How, how strong do you think the wind is going to be? Like 50 knots? It's cat one. So I think, uh, yeah, 50, 60, something like that. I don't think it's like a cat five or anything like that. But Still, in the Tuamotos, you know, those are very low line atolls. So even if it just generates a big swell, that swell can come right over the, the atoll. There's no protection from wind and it can be quite uncomfortable uh, and dangerous, right? Yeah. So I think we made a good call. We took our, we took our knocks early. I was actually just thinking about it earlier today. It's funny how life kind of takes turns and it's sometimes interesting when you think back on stuff like you know we sailed up here and it was quite a struggle we've been just so out of it both of us we haven't really eaten much just trying to survive basically being up here in the Marquesas have not been easy for me at least and I know for Brian too it's been a lot of rolling we've been quite uncomfortable if you've been watching the videos you know <laughs> it just like gets into your skin it's been because, rainy, of these systems. because of these systems that yeah. disturb in the atmosphere it's been incredibly hot mm -hmm. and it's been very rolly because the swell still comes right into those bays but yeah. at least we don't have to worry about riding out a cyclone at anchor. So okay. we're sitting it out. We are doing boat projects and mm -hmm. we're editing videos and- we some moonshine. We made some moonshine. We are yeah. hanging out with our friends and we've had some good parties. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Gotta love that keeps me waiting. But finally, it looked as though we'd have an opportunity to get going and head south. One thing that is good for us about the south wind being up here is that it kind of sucks all the wind down south. So it's actually going to blow from the north here. So that means that we can head east and get going today. So we've been trying to make it back to Tahawata and like Kiva'oa down there. And finally, it looks like the breeze has lightened up a little bit. It's gone from like a solid 20 to 25 which sucks to beat into it to like a uh, like 12, 10 to, let's say 10 to 15, which is significant difference. And it's, it's instead of being like blasting out of the east, it's kind of tended a little bit out of the north, which gives us just that extra 15 degrees so that we can make it on one tack and not have to be like so hard on it. Okay. Bye bye, Hiva Oa. No, we're not Hiva Oa, God. I don't even know where I am anymore. Nukbihiva. Are you filming yourself shaving, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. Just a uh, modern day sailor here. I don't have a mirror, but I happen to have a smartphone. <laughs> you look great. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm happy to say that today's video is proudly sponsored by Henson Shaving. This is the AL13 Razor. They sent it to me just over a year ago and uh, it's the only one I use. I absolutely love it. I got a little surprising stat for you. 90% uh, of men have experienced irritation when shaving 
and two thirds of us have grown accustomed to expecting it every time they shave. That to me is a little bit crazy. Henson's single blade design is precisely supported to tolerances of less than the thickness of a human hair, which greatly reduces irritation. The blades are super easy to change, so it's the last razor you'll ever need to buy. Plus, it's pretty awesome because it never ever goes dead. So if you or that special salty sailor in your life is looking for an environmentally friendly, plastic-free, ultra-close shave, just click the link in the description. I'll also put it uh, directly below right here. And right now, get yourself 100 free blade refills by entering the code SVDELOS at checkout. And that's it. You'll get an amazing razor and you'll support our project at the same time. Thanks very much. Cats, oh. by the way, it looks like you could use a little Henson in your life. Really? My beard is getting a little bit long, huh? <laughs> okay, it's time to go sailing. Let's go. Let's go. It's always bittersweet to leave one place and head to the next, but we're so ready to make a move. Ready to work our way southeast, away from Nukahiva, where we'd spent the last few months rolling around, and towards the southern islands of Hiva'oa and Tahuata, where we'd spend another few weeks waiting and watching the weather before ultimately sailing back to the calm, crystal clear waters of the Tuamotus. Looking back, even though it was a tough time for us both physically and emotionally, Deep down, we knew that we had made the right call. And with the sound of sails filling and the creaking of Delos's hull, we were back in our happy place, just as if order had been restored in our little floating universe. Much like our beloved Ramakanji tune that we hope won't get us into trouble again. can hold this, we will arrive somewhere. No. Sometime tomorrow. Oh, that's the best I can give you. That's awesome. I'm gonna sit here and listen to my yacht rock and yacht rock the afternoon away. <laughs> Sailing is beautiful today. Rank this is slow, but one of the best sails we've had in quite a while. Yeah. I'm not seasick, Sierra's not seasick, and we're moving in the right direction, so I'm very happy about that. Was that a burp? Life is good. All is well on board sailing vessel Delos. <laughs> Delos. De sailing vessel Delos. Delos. Delos, Delos, Delos. Oh. oh my god, are you okay? Got a huge fish. Well, the reel went off like crazy because I thought it was going to school the line. It's big. What do you want it to be? I want it to be like a good tuna. Good tuna. It went deep, huh? It went deep. I think it swam down. Like I turned the full drag on of this reel and it didn't even slow it down. And this carried on for quite some time. In fact, well into the evening. This is bending the rod so much. But eventually... I see it now, it's right there. Yeah, it is swimming back and forth. Wow. It's getting really... It's taken and I'm given and I'm just trying to be real gentle with it. It's been a monster fish. Guys. Yeah, I think it was a tuna too. God. You've been some Lulu, some. We've been it's... losing a lot lately. We are having just a beautiful sail. It's so nice. I think this is like 
when Delos gets in her groove on this point of sail and she's just like a freight train going through the waves. Uh, it's nice, we're going pretty fast. I think our speed through the water is about eight knots. We have some current against us, so uh, speed over ground is in the sevens. We've got 15 knots of wind, but we're not rocking. You know, she's just like locked kind of in this groove and it's actually quite comfortable. As you can see here is where we left Nuki Hiva. And we're going down here. Uh, this is Hiva Oa and then Tahawata is right there. And the wind is sort of like, normally it's like this, but the reason we're doing the sail is because it's like this a little bit, which is allowing us to make it all in one tack without it being too uncomfortable. Just cruising. Try to squeeze ourselves in here. We're gonna come over here on your port side. It's definitely a tight anchorage. It's so many boats! And some of these boats just happen to be very close friends we hadn't seen in quite some time. We've well, decided to do something a little bit different today. We're gonna rent a big van. Our friends are gonna come with us and we're just gonna cruise around the island, maybe walk around, maybe explore. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, friends. Let's go adventure. Okay. the other side of the island. It's just a fantastic drive. That road with the twists and the turns, so windy. Such a beautiful drive though. Look at this. This is a nice playground, huh? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna go check out the big tiki. Why don't you try one of those, Tom? They're really yes. good. Like it's not gonna kill me. No, no, no. no. Like Here, I'll, I'll. It's I'll, actually I'll, a chili. It's yes. not. Yes. I'll do it with you. Oh, you took a bigger bite than you needed to. <laughs> I said just a tip. Go on, do it with me. <laughs> you said you would. I was just saying that to get you to do it first. <laughs> oh, God, it's worse than the wasabi last I had last oh, night. No. Oh, no. So silly. Oh, it burns. <laughs> you did it to yourself. You uh, I know, I know. I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> you know, I Let me go check it out. Show me where it is. Let's go. Let's go look at the big tiki. Come on, run. <laughs> wow, it's so big. Wow. That's what she said. That is definitely a big tiki. Come here, come in right here, come in right here. Mm -hmm. A big tiki. Say tease. Tease. Okay, now serious explorers. No smiling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The, the smoothest anchorage in the Marquesas at the moment. <laughs> We're only rolling this much. I know. <laughs> but it's still bad, the best we've got. I've got to go up and do a few things. I need to replace a block at the masthead that we used to lift the dinghy. Yeah, let's do this. Am I heavier or lighter than the dinghy? Lighter. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, sure. I got that going yeah, for me. Yeah, lighter than the dinghy. 
<laughs> it's like 200 kilos. <laughs> Girl, I hope you know I jumped. All right, made it, and the view is pretty good up here. I always forget how cool Delos looks from right above her. She's actually got just a really beautiful shape. Um, this is the block that needs to be replaced. You can see it's a double block, and there's no reason for that. It's also not a rotating block, uh, which is really bad because when the spinnaker and stuff spins, the head of the block doesn't rotate locks off you can see that that chip look at that that's a line chewer right there it's a good thing I replaced this okay sweet okay so you can see how this block spins right so now when the load comes from the side instead of the block staying straight and the line chafing on the side the block will actually spin uh, which is way better for this type of purpose but my work wasn't nearly done for the day. What well, just happened, bro? I went to pull the starter, and after I pulled it out, it locked up. It's like it's really jammed in there now. It like made a weird noise, and it didn't suck the line back in. And I think the same exact thing that happened to it and Maria just happened again. And that exact same thing happened to our friends Ticket to Ride on the same engine. Yep. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's a fine mess. Wow. How the hell did that happen? Look, it cut into the plastic there. Oh, yeah. That is so... Maybe I so can salvage it and we should probably order, order a new one just to have one. How many should we order? Like five? Five. It's a pretty new engine. It's only three, four years old. I love the engine. It runs great. Except the starter is a piece of crap. I took it apart, we re we rewound the spring, pull it. Oh jeez! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Easy there, Cass! You're too strong! I mean, have you seen you this? You ripped lady? it right out of my hands! <laughs> Look at that beast right there! Ow, jeez! <laughs> okay, I don't know why. Weird! Probably order another one of those. Yeah. Thank you for the entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, look at the color of the water. It's like chocolate milk. More diarrhea. Ew. Just got in some updates from our friends down south. Uh, and Cyclone Nat has now kind of passed or is just passing. And the winds actually aren't as strong as predicted, which is amazing. There's still been quite a few spots that had some big waves and stuff. I found actually a resort that we visited uh, they posted some stuff on theirs and it looks pretty gnarly I for sure asked myself if we had made a mistake sailing up here maybe everything happens for a reason I'm not sure but if I wouldn't have had my mini meltdown and if it wouldn't have been so uncomfortable here we also wouldn't have travel to Australia and Brian wouldn't have booked that ticket and been like let's get off this boat uh, and then we probably wouldn't have realized that we want to build a boat there if you haven't watched those videos about the boat build and like all those decisions you should because they're really good too <laughs> I'll put the link right here subscribe if you haven't because it really really helps us out a lot and love you guys and see you next Friday thank you for watching Bye. Up next on Delos, things get a little stressful on board. This is not a way you want to start your day. Ah, hate it. And it's time to get out of Dodge. So we set sail for a nearby island that feels like a whole new world.
Tu as fait le petit bas Voilà. Allo On ne peut pas Voilà. Ok. That's about it for today. Bye. Ça que rien.